A Route 31 Mercer County tournament. Squads from both Hopewell and Ewing each found themselves pitted against a team from Leonard Avenue in Hamilton as the Iron and Lady Mikes of Trenton Catholic Academy were both trying to bring home MCT titles to McCorston campus. I'm Mark Fontes with sports. The Hopewell Valley High Lady Bulldogs came into Thursday night's championship game with only one loss, an eight-point setback a few weeks ago to North Brunswick. Ewing High's boys were on a roll, having knocked off rival Trenton High and top-seeded Notre Dame in the MCT before they took the court at Mercer County Community College Thursday night. But coming up on 20 years since the Madonna Tom Hanks film A League of Their Own was in theaters, you might say that's often what TCA finds themselves in. <laughs> The Hoval dog pound fired up and ready to go, cheering on their Lady Bulldogs, but they had their work cut out for them against the Lady Mikes of Trenton Catholic Academy. Here, Tyler Razor puts it up and in from inside the paint. Shortly after that, Kelly Williams to Nellie Tangway. Tangway to Kara Hageman. She's a sophomore and an AAU success at that. Razor back with it later, hits up Isis Young, who fires from downtown, and she hits a tray. Young led everyone with 22 points. Williams, a senior, has been shooting from downtown even longer, and there proves her experience. Young to Robin Perkins, last year's Tournament of Champions MVP. Perkins banks a bucket, part of a 16-point night for her. Kelly to Nelly. Tangway from just inside the arc, that's inside the net. Tangway, the junior, led Hobal in assists, seven. Perkins to Young again, another three-point attempt, and she hits it. The two teams kept the game fairly close throughout the first three periods. Here's Jen Didden receiving it from Shelby Butler. Didden blocked by our pal, the referee, but she hits a short jumper. The pound loves it. In all fairness to Didden, here she is in view, hitting a shot from the foul line. TC ahead by seven as the final period began. Dominic Ward pushing her way into the lane. Shoots, no good. Rebound Kelechi Okpara, and Okpara gets it to fall. In the fourth quarter, the Lady Bulldogs struggle to hit field goals. Williams not able to there. Ward with the defensive board thrusts it up court to Young, who's defended by Hageman. Young puts up a jumper. It's no good. That seven-point deficit became 19 by midway through the fourth quarter. Hageman had one of Hobal's last successful offensive moments, grabbing her own miss and then converting it to points. But the Mikes, who had only one loss to a public school on the year, Willingboro on January 30th, take their third straight MCT title, winning this 63-46. In the boys' game, Ewing's Blue Devil faithful, eager to see their boys take home their second straight MCT, playing TCA's men, trying to make it an MCT sweep for the school formerly known as McCorston and St. Anthony's. First quarter, Isaiah York dishes it to Ronnie Valentine. His shot blocked, but there's David Azoro to save the day. And remember that play. That's not the first time you'll see such moves from number three. 31. Number one, Nazir Chu of TCA shoots and hits this from downtown. York back with the ball, finds Azoro inside and Azoro on point. He led all scorers with 36. Still in the first period, Dante Jones for three. Can't hit the rim, but Azoro coming through in the clutch again. He will be missed after he graduates. Mike's finding it tough to contend with the Blue Devil D early on. Nazir Chu, though, maintains possession, throws in a deuce right there. York later on a breakaway. Fouled by Mr. Brandon Taylor, and oddly enough, that would be the last we'd see of Mr. Longhair the rest of the first half. This happened late in the first period. The score at the end of one, 18-10 Ewing. In the second, York to Jones, who heads into the paint. Underhanded toss to Azoro. He does it again, making a case for MVP he is, but the game far from over. And it wasn't just inside shots. Here's Azoro outside the lane, and his jumper is in there for two. Charles Cook of the Mikes to Khalil Bati. Bati shot no good, but Cook with the dunk. Cook led all Mikes with 19, a five-point Ewing lead at the half. Third period, Cook with it. Taylor back in from the bench. Can't hit the dunk. You see Azoro right alongside him. He would get the ball, throw it way up court to Valentine, and he lays it up and in. Valentine had six on the night. Cook to Malachi Richardson from downtown. That's no good. Rebound is up for grabs, but it is Taylor. Hill put it up, still no good. Cook makes the third time the charm, though. Blue Devils ahead by six at the end of three. The fourth quarter, though, is when the Mikes hit the afterburner and started playing like champions. York still on fire, though, finding Valentine, and Valentine hits it again. The Mikes, though, would tie the game midway through the fourth, and in the period's final minutes, things started clicking as Taylor hits this. Long story short, Mikes with their first lead since the game's opening minutes, under one to play. Richardson is fouled after a Ewing turnover. He'd go to the line, hit both free throws. 
two-possession game with just seconds left. This is how it ended. Azoro and teammates on their A game for the first three quarters just seemed to run out of gas as Taylor knocks that ball away. And the TCA Iron and Lady Mikes sweep the Mercer County Basketball Tournament. The boys coming from behind to deny Ewing back-to-back -back titles. These highlights, by the way, brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association. Members working to ensure your child's future success. And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior NAMI Business Systems. With the finest names and office products like Brother, Canon, Konica, Minolta, and Muratech, Prior NAMI is your business solutions headquarters. The Steinert Spartans boys basketball squad recorded a rare blowout Thursday. They knocked off the Bordentown Scotties 65-49 at home Thursday, right before greats like James Locklear attended last night's boys tournament game as a spectator. The boys begin state play next Tuesday at Jackson Memorial, while the Lady Spartans head to Marlboro on the same day. Both games tip off at 4 p.m. in case you want to drive out and see them. That's all for sports on this Friday and for the week. In a moment, more on the repercussions that Trenton may face by closing two of its firehouses. Don't miss Mercer County Close-Up.